pilot telescope from somewhere else and see the aircraft, but Linda Ham just tell him, made him sit down. So you know, typically Linda Ham believed that she knew it all. And what happened? So this flight took off, uh, took, uh, took off on 16 January 2003. 2nd February, when it was coming back, the moment it entered atmosphere, what happened? You know, you had these gases which went and hit the uh, wings. And, and then all of you know what happened. So this is another great example wherein, uh, wherein you know, Linda Ham in this case uh, didn't realize her blind spot. She was not really able to assess the situation. Another thing, and there are tons of research on this, this also talks about the culture of the organization. When people were really not free to speak. It's essentially a one is right culture. I am senior, I know everything. What do these engineers know? Right? So, that's the second example where, you know, because of quality assessment, you know, you get impacted by blind spot. Let me talk about the third one, wherein you know that there is a problem, but you don't do anything about it. Let's talk about Xerox Corporation. All of you are aware of Xerox, right? Uh, you know, Xerox had this uh, research unit, it's still there, called this Palo Alto Research Center, or many of you would be knowing. This was started in 1970. Very, very successful research institution. The problem with this is, Xerox is situated in Rochester. Xerox is situated in Rochester, which is always, almost if you look at the United States of America map, it's always towards the UK, uh, East Coast, right? And, and uh, BRC is in California. So what, what typically happened because of this? So the, the, the R&D guys in PRC thought, these marketing fellows don't know what they want. And the marketing guys thought, these fellows don't know what they are doing. They're doing. So the, the, the R&D guys were very happy because they thought that nobody's interfering. And you know what? They came up with some of the finest products. Right? I have put them uh, down there. Today, if you really talk about the computing industry, some of the best products came from uh, uh, PARC. Whether it's uh, pull-down menus, mouse, computer-generated graphics, uh, uh, laser printer. You know, there are tons of uh, things that they have come up. But Xerox couldn't really leverage it. The, re the, the reason is, the leaders at the top knew that this is a problem. They knew that both these institutions operate as a silo, but they didn't do anything about it. So that's an example wherein you know a blind spot and you don't do anything about it. Of course, PARC in 2003 became a separate company and today it, it does a lot of work for all organizations and just not, uh, just not zero. By the way, I don't know whether you guys know it or not. Mouse is a concept was stolen by Steve Jobs from Xerox. And you guys should read about it. 